Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I will play you the full song if you haven't heard it already, but yeah, metal song about Rob Scallon's mom that came together in such a weird way. Uh, it has one of my best vocal performances, I think, a scream performance that I didn't even know I had in me. And um, you know, it started out as our least favorite song on this record that we were making, and it very quickly turned into our favorite. So I thought I would just tell a little bit of the story of how this came together. Um, you may have seen that Rob Scallon and I are a band for one day a year on the 1st of October, and the band is called 1st of October. Every year on that day, we try and write and record an entire 10-song album in one day. All right, I'm oh, getting no, on no, those no. Okay, what am I playing? I'm playing this one. We only have one copy of lyrics. So the song started like a lot of our 1st of October songs start, with one of us just coming up with a riff. And you have to know, at this point in time, we're a little more than halfway into our day. We've already written and recorded five songs and uh, we haven't had lunch yet. I think we're starting to fall apart and we just got stuck in this loop where I feel like we just played this riff a thousand times. Now we were trying the occasional other idea to add on to it, but we just didn't like anything we were doing. Rob came up with a couple things to go in between those main riff sections, but it was a lot of playing that riff and just trying to find things by jamming. Let's start it from the top. Uh, let's start from the top. Okay, from the top. Let's start from the top and just feel it. All right, let's start it from the top. From from the top. Let's just do it from the top. Okay, from the top. From the top. From the top. Let's let's do it from the beginning. We weren't feeling it. We had just done five songs that we really liked, and this was the first real downturn in energy in the day, and we were getting kind of discouraged. But like that. That's just part, some of the, some of the songs aren't gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. Just lay it down. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I just don't really like this song that much. Do we have time to start a new thing? I don't know. We started a new thing. I don't know, I'm not into that either. Maybe after the first two albums, like, the first two was like, if we just get anything, then that's great. Keep that yeah. same approach. Yeah. Don't, don't overthink it. Okay, let's go back to the other song and just try to make it good. And of course we had no idea, but this was a key decision. And so now with the clock really ticking, Rob just kept the guitar parts that he disliked the least. Although, hearing it back now, I'm not sure why we didn't like this. He was playing some awesome stuff. <laughs> I think we were just feeling blah, and so to us, everything was sounding blah. Anyway, we committed to a simple song structure and laid it down, and then Rob immediately went to track the bass, while my job was to write the lyrics and the melody, which I was totally stumped on, and all we had so far was this little two-note melody that Rob had been singing that neither of us really liked. Ah! Then, Rob Rusha, our engineer, said, It's so new metal. And the inspiration just opened up in my mind, because for some reason I had been in the headspace of Metallica, Black Sabbath, Pantera, that kind of earlier metal, and all of a sudden it was like, no, this is Rage Against the Machine featuring System of a Down. Way more in line with the influences I grew up with, uh, although I did play in a Metallica cover band for a little while, and we're not gonna talk about that. I've never had this happen to this degree before where you're hearing the exact same sounds in a completely new way. Uh, it was a total paradigm shift and I instantly went from disliking this song to loving it even though nothing had changed about the song. It was just my brain. <laughs> Now that morning, we had been catching up, we talked a little bit about our families, and I had been reminded that Rob's mom has the awesome job of bookmobile driver. So for whatever reason, that popped into my head as a possible song topic. And so this conversation about Rob's mom and a comment about new metal came together in this moment where we're trying to create a song in an hour, and uh, I was ready to write. What lyrics we got? I'm writing a song about your mom. <laughs> it's gonna be like the bookmobile driver theme. <laughs> She's yeah. rolling down the lake shore. <laughs> Get the government to pay for it. Yeah. 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 Bringing books to all the great fours. Bringing books yeah. to all the great fours. Oh my god. Props to Tamara, who was one of our camera operators, for that genius lyric that completed the verse. It was amazing how fast and how fun it was to write this song once we had the concept, and how that instantly turned it into the favorite. I can't believe we almost did it. Yeah. 
good this part. Is my favorite. <laughs> when I went to do the vocals, something about the energy of that day, the aggressiveness of the song, something came out of me that I've never heard before. Bookmobile, we got some books on wheels. And then Rob laid down a perfect Tom Morello solo and uh, we had our song. So, I don't know, it just goes to show like what happens when weird things come together and you force yourself to take an idea all the way to the finish line. Uh, I hope that's inspiring. Anyway, here's Bookmobile, written and recorded in one hour. You can also stream it on our new 1st of October album called Gotta Record Everything Good. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> I'm writing this while eating celery and strawberries. <laughs> this is so wholesome.